Now, I can't say I'm a big fan of Spawn, uh, but some of the action figures that McFarlane Toys made of Spawn are kind of kind of crazy and kind of weird. This is Tiffany the Amazon. So Tiffany was kind of like a one of the sort of bad girls of the 90s Spawn Lady Death kind of era. Uh, she's an angel with ulterior motive. She vows to take over Angela's place as a priority A1 angel. Don't know what any of that stuff means. Um, but I got this for $3, obviously. You know, it's pretty banged up. And what caught my eye is that it says wings and sword turn into sleds. So she can go sled riding. Uh, this is from 1996. And you can see there's all kinds of strange figures on there. An alien spawn, a chameleon spawn, super patriot, battle clad spawn. Um, you know, you got all kinds of bizarre figures. You've actually seen me open Thresher right there. Um, these, this Total Chaos line is actually pretty cool. The Thorax, Gore, Hoof, that Al Simmons, those are pretty sweet. I would like to get some of those, but alas, I haven't found them. So here we go. Spawn. Todd McFarlane Spawn Ultra Action Figures. Tiffany the Amazon from McFarlane Toys, 1996 getting freed from her our cell. She's been in there for 21 years. She looks like she's about to kick some butt. It's got that kind of, not real hair, but you know what I mean. So these are also pretty notorious for breaking easily. I actually, I don't know if it was that one or another McFarlane toy I opened and it broke like as I opened it. So she's got a lot going on here, a lot of armor, got a belt, I don't know, and that's the thing is some of this is, looks like it might be removable, like this holster, but it might not be, and that's when your stuff can get broken. So let's see, so she's got a gun, she's got this big sword that has like a, kind of a hilt, she's got her nails did, and you can see the... Got her nails done. And her stomach is kind of peeling the paint on it. I don't know. These are just, it's almost like they're too much. You know, they went like too far and they really just needed to like chill out and simplify it. A lot of times these came with stands. This one didn't. All right. So these are her wings. Let's move her hair out of the way. And this is where things break. McFarland toys break. All right, so there she is. She's got her gun. She's got her sword. She's got her wings. So she's looking pretty badass. Um, but what we can do is we can turn this into a sled. So remove the post on wings from slots on back. And this is, again, where it might break. Because it's not coming out too easy. There we go. All right. Place her holes in the feet. Let's get that down there. I can see down there there's some some pegs on there. Her feet don't fit on the pegs very well. Let's get this garbage out of here. So the tip of the sword and slot of the wings and the handles and sword flip up, flip out to make handlebars for the sled. And the gun removes from holster to fit in either hand. I don't really know why. You can actually turn it off. So it actually, hmm, it's kind of neat. It doesn't fit in there very well. I put it in the right way. So we got to take her gun out of her hand, put it in her holster. And her feet back on the pegs. Again, it's all just like kind of too much. Like why? 
Well, I don't really read these kind of comics. I read Spawn. I mean, everybody had Spawn number one and, you know, the first couple issues. And there was the one, I think it was like seven or ten with Cerebus. And, you know, the early ones in the 90s. I think any comic book fan had those. But usually after the first ten or so, you kind of lost interest because they're not very good. But they still make it. There's like... Oh, there's lots and lots of issues. So, so there she is. She's got a sled. I don't know if it flies around in space or she actually slids down a hill in the snow or what she does, but she doesn't really stand good. The sword isn't staying good. The gun doesn't stay in the holster, but I don't know. I guess if this is like your jam, if you're really into spawn or these sort of bad girl figures, then it's kind of a a decent one to own. So uh, let's see. She tracks down attacks spawn every chance she gets uh, she relies on her intelligence she carries a huge sword to ward off attackers uh, from one of the many angel division the Amazon warriors Tiffany's impressive appearance in itself acts as her defense her gold metallic wings also transform into a battle sled um, and if you're so inclined if you're wired you can reach Todd McFarland the toy company and or the comic company online on the internet at http colon slash slash www.spawn.com so uh so thanks for watching and if you're wired check out spawn.com also if you're wired make sure you you follow like and comment on vintage toy freedom